Our goal with these tools and weapons is to use them on Ublek to find out what kind of forces and stressors make Ublek act like a liquid and which ones make it act like a solid. First up, Master Swordsman and Trainer Guy Hagen is taking on Ublek using a Japanese sword called a katana. The incredibly sharp weapon dates back to the 1400s. Will the impact of its razor-sharp edge cut the Ublek in half like a solid, or just break the balloon and cause the Ublek to pour out like a liquid? Darren is slowing down time to see exactly what happens when the katana strikes the Ublek. Inside the balloon, the Ublek is not under force and therefore in a liquid state. But as the blade makes contact with the Ublek, it becomes a solid. The blow of the sword causes the cornstarch to collect, but as the force dissipates and the Ublek falls to the ground, it reverts back to a liquid state. This is the process of sheer thickening. A hard force slams micro-sized particles in the fluid together, forming long, rigid chains, which are hard to break. Ublek versus compound bow and razor-tipped arrows. Any predictions? I think it's just gonna go straight through. It's gonna act like a liquid and it's not gonna affect it at all. Anybody else? I think it's just gonna take the arrow and stop it. Mmm. Grab it and smash it, break it, and then throw it on the ground. I like that idea. All right, let's find out, ready? When the arrow strikes the Ublek, it penetrates cleanly through the liquid form without resistance. Because the arrow point only impacts a tiny amount of surface area on the Ublek, the force isn't enough to transform the liquid into a solid and stop the arrow. <laughs> Now what happens if we broaden the impact on the balloon by firing something bigger at it, like a golf ball? Whoa. Oh, wow. It caught it. That was awesome. I thought it was gonna go through, but it caught it. Darren can freeze time and stop the golf ball in flight to see what really happens to the Ublek. So that golf ball was all might, no grace, but it was really, really cool how when it impacted, it created very specific patterns going out from the edges. Because the golf ball strikes the Ublek with a blunt force much wider than that of the arrow tip, the fluid reacts to the extreme stress by solidifying, bringing it to a complete stop. <laughs> 